these anime trainers are getting out of hand. He basically told her, you have a different build from your dad. You know, you got childbearing hips. Let me just squeeze them thighs for you. And suddenly she can swing better. How? Because anime logic. Back in the old, old day, anime characters would go under a waterfall, fucking meditate. They go into the mountains to train in seclusive isolation. But here it's a little bit different because that's how we do it in Battle High School San uh, Shonen's, man. I think we got to fight against the Soul Eater. But at the same time, that girl... On the rooftop, what's she gonna say? Let's begin today's reaction. Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Her voice sounds so much different. She had a twisted smile last episode. What could she possibly have on us that we can't beat her? How? What are these conditions? Did her voice totally change from last episode? Damn, that's a deep line. Oh? Wait, her blade is sick! So she got a fast... If she kills herself... What? No! Is she gonna blame that on Iki? But if he uses Itoshura... Does it carry over next day? It, we might not be able to use it tomorrow! That's her plan? Fuck. Did, did he reduce the impact of falling down by kicking off the building, I think? I think that's what happened. But, shit. Now during our fight, we can't use Ito Shura. That was all part of the plan. You used it. I don't care if we can almost see her tits in her belly button right now from the water. Fuck. I didn't know she was this twisted. She was a totally different character last episode. Something about her dad. Something about that soul eater guy. Someone took something from her. That's what she, was, she kept saying last episode. I guess we'll find it out during the actual battle. We might have some flashbacks. It's not even like that he can't use Itoshira anymore. It's that like his physical abilities just get nerfed drastically for a prolonged time. Why is Stella moaning? <laughs> what do you mean the nightly Itoshira? Dude, I love the author how he keeps using Itoshira as like a sexual innuendo. <laughs> Oh. No, he's just so tired. He just passed that rat on her titties. <laughs> Japanese nighttime rendezvous. I've never heard of such a thing. Damn. He's so tired. Can he recover in 10 hours? What? What, what does the director want now? Oh yeah, we, we yeah we did that. <laughs> no, I mean we had to save her. Oh no, we fucked the school up though. He's covering for a girl that fucking bitch like backstabbed him. She got into an accident. Was it because of the soul eater? You know the guy we saw last episode. The sword eater. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, the guy was apparently was ranked top 8, you know, last uh, year in the tournament, so he's clearly super strong. Oh, even the pro- what kind of rule is that? Yo, they need to do better, you know, re reading the contract before fucking accepting the dude. Why would you give up all your fucking property? Holy shit, you can't even, like, blame her, right? She's clearly doing this for her dad, trying to get everything back. That was her, you know, her childhood, but... Pride. She's not really doing that anymore, huh? Damn. This is how Iki talks, but you know what she just did to Iki? I think she regrets that probably, but what choice does she have really? Yo, I can't wait till we beat this guy up. Bro, I can't, I can't wait, but he's strong. Maybe I, I, I understand that she's trying to get revenge. Oh. Aww. This is a sad man. 
But like, Iki can probably do it for her. That's probably what's going to happen. But obviously, she wants to do it herself. Oh my god, she's alive, but you know, with the bland trends. Wow, she looks, she's playing popular. Don't jinx it. She's gonna cough. She's gonna cough up blood any moment, dude. <laughs> Everyone loves you already. Please stop. Okay. All right. There it is. There it is. Oh, what is it? Are they ever gonna explain it? The cooking commentators like... Oh my god. F Frank. Six for six though. Oh, I'm another one. <laughs> Yo, it keeps getting quite the intro now, huh? She is so different. Six for six also, though. And she's only d rate Damn. Here we go. But no Ito Shuda, man. I think he's already forgiven her. I don't know. He, he's not taking it personally. Whoa. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. I like her blade. It's like scarlet red katana. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. She did that on the hospital top too. She did a thing and then, you know, the thing split behind. It's like sound waves? What is it? Again. Slash is in the back. What? Stella, no, don't give up. Noble art. Scratch of wind. It does look like wind wave somehow. Iki's physically probably not 100% still, but you know, he can still fight like that. Opening wounds is her ability. Okay. Traps in the wind she already left behind. What? Oh, they're all invisible and she can like basically like detonate it like that. Oh. Usually like the villain will tell straight up out loud their powers, but I love at least, you know, how she doesn't tell. She's just thinking it, right? For us to know. Oh, against the rules. Wait. Yeah. But Iki won't. Iki wouldn't, dude. Because like, if he wanted to, he would have already told the director what would happen about her, you know, doing all that shit in the hospital. Here comes another one. Ding. What? He, he, he knows it's a trap, but how would he know where it is, though? Ding. Ah. But that one, he did definitely know, but that's a huge cut across the arm, man. She's setting up invisible traps! She's cheating, guys! She's- I don't care if I'm snitching! <laughs> I love how she's covering her mouth, you know, cleaning the blood. Imagine if we had Itoshura! Oh. That's a pretty twister ability, but... We should be fine, right? No way we lose here. Iki? Iki blocked it with his hilt? Into? First time seeing it. Irregular guard. You know, if we have to rely on Itoshira to win every time, maybe we don't deserve it. This is a good time to see how he can fight without it. Isn't this Yuri? The, uh, yeah, it's her. <laughs> stop, stop. He's gonna die. No. Exactly. He doesn't want to win that way. I almost did the same thing when I saw Stella. <laughs> I'm like, but if I do that, my fucking PC gets drowned. <laughs> Is he actually coaching her? He's coaching her? Yeah, stay true to your father's words. I think that's what he's trying to do with this match. But she cast that pride aside. Doing all this evil sneaky shit. You are wavering. That's kind of true. That result is honestly what matters at the end of the day.
From behind! Oh shit, nothing personal, kid! Cuts all over the back. Oh, I thought, you know, he would already sheath something. That's it? That's it? I... No, that was it? Illusion form. Illusion form? As in, like, it, so it wouldn't, like, actually, you know, hurt her, right? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's to bring her back. Because... I thought we had something close last episode. We grew up your thighs. You can't fight anymore either. This really sucks if you understand, like, where she's coming from. But I think Iki will, like, um, inherit her... Not necessarily vengeance, but you know we're going to fight Soul Eater for her. And, and let's get serious. Like, do you think that she could beat Soul Eater right now if Iki can beat her without Itoshira? Like... The whole point of this was to basically return her back to, you know, how, when father would be proud of her. Oh. If the device disappears, it means... Oh, I, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. It's sad. This girl just came out yesterday, last episode, and that, it was fun, but then she's got such a tragic past. And, like, I can't even be really happy about this. Like, we got through the selections, but you know what I'm happy about? Soul Eater Revenge Match, bro. Oh. There you go. We'll fight the Soul Eater for you. That's how it's gonna be always. Come on. Even though you, it doesn't matter, girl, because them thighs didn't betray us. She, she did kind of did something fucked up, though. Like, absolutely. Oh. My friends. Remember those hands that reminds you of your father? That was kind of sus. You're like, oh, your hands are so nice and thick and strong, full of calluses. <laughs> reminds me of my dad. Aww. I love how everybody in the audience is still watching this right now. They're like, what the fuck is going on between these two? Why is she crying? But damn. We're going! Revenge match! Now, combat-wise, this episode... No, it was actually pretty hype. You know, she had a really cool device. Her power was really sick, but I wanted to see it to shoot. It's cool to know that he can use perfect vision without it. So at the end, you know, he pretty much, like, read her with perfect vision. He had, like, an irregular guard also. And then he basically just, like, read her, transformed right behind, and nothing personal, right? So now, we're going into the Soul Eater. We're, we beat everybody 7-4-7. Seven now it means selections is over. We're going to the actual tournament. I hope the first match right away is against Soul Eater. Bro, this is gonna be so fucking good. But hey, if you're still here, if you still, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.